Alan, as venues and even transportation providers start requiring proof of vaccination, fake vaccine cards are becoming a hot commodity and a dangerous one, according to 45 attorneys general from across the country, including Illinois AG Kwame Raoul. Even as Americans are being vaccinated, many more people are not. That is making these official, albeit paper and handwritten, CDC cards among the hottest items on the knockoff market today. We've seen a 300% increase from what was available in December. While some phony vaccine certificates are still priced at hundreds of dollars on the dark web, some less authentic looking copies are available for free. And the I-Team tonight finding more conventional platforms with versions for just a few dollars, resulting in this letter tonight from most of the state attorneys general in the U.S. The letter to the CEOs of Twitter, Shopify, and eBay targeting deceptive marketing and sales of fake COVID vaccine cards. Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul is among those tonight asking for immediate action to prevent your platforms from being used as a vehicle to commit these fraudulent and deceptive acts that harm our community. Communities. Those that are hesitant to get the vaccine uh, for whatever reason may turn to alternatives. They potentially have real risk of carrying the virus and transmitting to others. The White House this week announcing national guidelines in the works for managing so-called vaccine passports, providing digital proof of vaccination or recent negative COVID test results, even as some countries actually will administer the vaccine passports themselves. Unlike other parts of the world, um, the government here is not viewing its role as the place to create a passport, uh, nor a place to hold the data uh, of, of citizens. The FBI tonight also out with a special alert warning the public of making or buying fake vaccination cards or even filling in an actual card with your own information if it isn't true. The FBI citing a federal law against misusing official government logos such as the CDC. And that crime is punishable by up to five years in prison. Stacy. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.